Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. And today we're looking at the week of February the 12th to the 18th. All you need is love. De -de -de -de. Yes, it is Valentine's Day uh, this week. And it's really, energetically speaking, a quite a, um, um, a love week and a very emotional kind of week. Because on Thursday we're having a uh, new moon. And uh, this new moon is actually joined by two uh, asteroids called Hygieia and Juno, which have quite um, an effect on the overall energy. Um, what is interesting about this is that Juno uh, has been called by the ancient Romans Juno Covella, um, goddess of the new moon. So when this all converges this week, um, topics like love and uh, companionship will be on the fore in people's uh, hearts and also then Mr. Valentine's theme this week being hyped up um, on on uh, radio and TV and everywhere really and um, you know uh, overcharged prices at restaurants kind of thing uh, flowers go up in price all these kind of things um, that are not necessarily related to, to love at all <laughs> but are part of this making this Valentine thing uh, bigger you know proclaiming your love kind of thing so so love is in the air so to speak, which can actually be quite a good thing because if people are more in a love mode and in a love theme, um, they're softer. And once you're in your softness, you become kinder. And imagine a really kind world, how awesome this will be for all of us, right? So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for this week, uh, February 12th to 18th. Um, the other thing I should mention is that on Friday this week, um, the Chinese are celebrating their new year. And uh, this is the year of the dog, which means the energy of loyalty comes into um, the universal energy too, um, which is a nice thing. And then on Sunday, we're finally moving into the star sign of Pisces, which is all about heart and emotion. So when you look at the whole week, um, your emotional side, um, love side, you know, things that, that you see from the heart and with the heart and realize and recognize um, why are emotions? It's all very much highlighted this week. So what we're going to do before we go into the individual star signs, we have a look at the overall energy for the for the week ahead. Let's see what the guides have got for us. So for the overall energy, the guides have given us the sparrow hawk and the big horn sheep, and that really means is um, that really means that things can come to you this week or to us this week. This week is a week of not being overly active uh, with regards to chasing things, trying to make things work. This is a week to trust that things will come to you. This is a week to look and 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 remember that divine timing is a real thing. So this is a week where. Um, Trying to fix things may not work. So for all of us, overall energy wise, let it let things come to you, um, and then reflect on them from the heart. Because you also have the big horn sheep, which is an animal that hangs on two legs on a cliff and doesn't fall. It's also um, oftentimes a, a monetary um, symbol. So um, don't worry about finances this week. But uh, with regards to the heart, is you're quite steadfast. Nothing is going to happen to you. Um, so, so trust this week. Be, be in your calmness. Be in your softness. Um, just wait for things to happen. And um, above all, enjoy the energy that is in the air overall this week. And like I said, um, next time we will be in the star sign of Pisces. Uh, but today we're obviously still starting with Aquarius. So let's see, uh, we're going into the individual star signs now. Let's see what we got for uh, Aquarius. Oops, card fell out, wants to be read. <laughs> Interesting for Aquarius, you have the dancer of lies and the hunter of abundance. So it is important that uh, you are absolutely truthful this week and forthcoming and speak your truth, speak your mind, let people know how you truly feel. Um, the dancer of lies, dancing is movement, 
And so, so you're, you're probably pussyfooting about um, when to say something, how to say it, how to express yourself. And what the guys are saying, don't, don't do that. Just be forthcoming, because when you speak from the heart, people are much more inclined to listen. So speak your truth this week. And you have the hunter of abundance. And abundance does not mean um, wealth, necessarily. It just means that um, you, you really want what, is, what, what you deserve. And in order to get it this week, um, you have to speak up, if that makes sense, right? But but kindly. So that's the week to um, really um, express yourself um, with love um, and then take it from there, okay? That was Aquarius. And now we're going into uh, Pisces. Let's see what they got for Pisces. <laughs> I'm a Pisces too. I know I say that every time. But um, we are lucky this week. We have the shaman of tradition, the shaman of tradition and the spirit of love. Um, and what that means is uh, you can count on your experience. You know how to conduct yourself. You know how to speak your truth. Um, it's important to be true to yourself this week. Really, really important to not um, adapt to situations. Don't try to be loved. Don't try to be liked. Don't try to, um, I don't know, be nice to people that you know aren't good for you. It's, it's, this week it's important to, to remember that um, the skill set that you have um, developed over, over your lifetime and the, um, the, the, the teachings and the lessons that you've learned over this lifetime, they will all aid you superbly. So don't, don't worry about anything this week because we have the spirit of love. And remember, this is the, the week where love is highlighted, where uh, Juno and Hygieia, the two asteroids, um, uh, are there with the new moon, which is absolutely awesome. So all of these things um, allow the vibration of love to be higher. And love is the highest vibration that we can actually create. Because I know it sounds a cliche, but love is the answer. Absolutely. And we have the spirit of love. So this is a really great week um, for all of us to, to um, uh, manifest love and say to the guides, you know, last time that I'm on my own on this bloody Valentine's Day <laughs> kind of thing. Right? If this is what you, what you, what you, what you feel. Um, but this is also where you, where you uh, allow things to happen where you don't close yourself, where you allow yourself, yeah, if there's love out there that wants to find me, let it find me, I'm open, right? So for us Pisces this week, be open-minded, um, but because you have the shame of tradition, which means uh, looking at who you truly are and what you have learned in life so far, it's about being true to yourself. And when you're true to yourself, you're absolutely honest. And when you're honest, your energy is quite high because truth needs no defense. Um, so people will come to you. You attract higher energy when your energy is high. And what they're asking us Pisces this week to do is to attract high energy by being in high, high energy ourselves. And it's great we have the spirit of love. Um, yeah, that's that for the Pisces going into Aries now. And I'm drawn to the other deck. One card falls out. Always good. When the card falls out, it, it just means that the guides really have something to say, <laughs> which is always good. So, Aries, let me just get another another card and see where we're going this week. Right. So, Aries, you have the coyote and the grey fox. So what that really means is, this is the week where you have to realise that you will always be nurtured and there will always be good people in your life provided provided that you remember that you can do with a lot less and that doesn't mean again money or anything it just means if there are people in your life that invade your energy that take up a lot of your time um, this is a good week to um, set clear boundaries and tell them off if that makes sense and let people come in that um, well, value you for who you truly are, if that makes sense. You also um, denotes here that you are a very old soul. So you have been through loads of stuff. 
um, together. Also, you have the coyote and the gray fox, and both of them are canines. Um, so this is the other thing about canines, where um, loyalty and being and loving unconditionally um, uh, is 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 all right here. So uh, be good to yourself, be loyal to yourself, treat yourself as number one, so you can invite people to treat you the same, if that makes sense. So that was Aries this week. Going into Taurus. For Taurus this week, there this week there are topics inside your soul that are not resolved, and it's a good week for these topics to finally get shifted out. You have proven that you have quite a lot of patience at times with situations, but you also carry stuff around with you that you could have released um, years ago, and this is a good week to realize um, it's time to release. So um, my advice to you would be to fill the bathtub and um, have a good cry, surround yourself with, 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 uh, with red um, for grounding and then wait for tears to come. Tears are sacred medicine. This is a week for you to release um, things that are inside your soul where you feel, I've been carrying this around for so long and it doesn't really serve me. Um, let it go. Okay? So that's really what, if it, all you need to do this week is to, is to let things go. The other thing is to be... Um, to have a good look around you and see who, who lives in your web of life and how much space do you allow people in your web of life. And the space that you um, give them, is that too much? Are they, are they taking too much of your own space? So this is a week to reflect also on um, how people that you uh, care about and care for and look at and all these kind of things, how they are um, truly treating you. Okay, Taurus is done. Going into Gemini. Card falls out. You have the Hunter of Vision and Spirit of Nurture, Gemini. And that means that you're, you're basically looking for uh, new beginnings. You're looking for clarity. That's what you really want, is clarity. Where is my life going? Uh, but you have the spirit of nurture. So unless you take some time out um, to treat yourself, uh, and, and I said that earlier for the other star sign, S number one, and I say that every week, oftentimes we have um, overlapping energy from, t from a star sign to star sign. If, if you know, when you look at it closely. So a lot of these star signs, as they follow each other, um, are quite um, connected, if that makes sense, right? But you have the hunter of vision and spirit of nurture. So this, this, the job for you this week, Geminis, is to treat yourself kindly so that the energy of kindness can find you. If, you know, that, so that, that's the thing. And remember the hunter of vision, um, if you say, oh, I really would like to know what my purpose is, and you, ra you say, what's my purpose? You will probably not get an answer, uh, because nobody's going to tell you what you're here for, if that makes sense, because you're on a journey. And in a journey, you find that out for yourself. Uh, but when you, as you nurture yourself, and it could be a day out in the spa, it could be a proper lovely meal somewhere, where you just, um, not overindulge, but indulge yourself with nice things that, that, that soothe your soul. And that's all you need to do this week, is to be good to yourself. Because the spirit of nurture um, uh, means that you really have to look after yourself this week um, and, uh, and um, exclude yourself from, from situations where there's loads of stress. Okay, so that's that. Going into Cancerians. Cancerians this week, you need to have a good look at flesh and blood family. You have the ancestor of illusion and the spirit of family. The ancestor of illusion means that for a long time you have looked at family and there must be, energetically speaking, 
something that is a bit off. There, are, there might be situations where you feel this isn't quite working. And you know what? You're absolutely right. The ancestor of illusion means that, that for a long time um, you try to um, look at things and, 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 and try to go along with it, um, adapt to it. Um, and this is the week to reflect on how long and how much longer you want to do this. If you find that you're being rejected, uh, for instance, and that, that there's not much you can do about it, um, and it causes you stress, um, and if there's no um, communication that makes this better, then it is time for now to just say it is what it is and I will, uh, I will not allow it to affect me. So this is a week to look at your family, flesh and blood, and see what is affecting you and um, how does it make you feel. And then if the energy goes low, then you know that it is affecting you in a negative, uh, inverted brackets, way and you deserve better. So maybe you have to walk away from situations, maybe you have to make peace with it, uh, obviously it's different for different people, but this is the week for um, cancer, especially with the love theme being so um, out there, is to, to reflect as lovingly as you can on, on family and let things go that uh, inhibit you in, in being happy, right? That was Cancerians going into Leo. All you need is love. So, Leo, you have the blue heron and the doll sheep. What that really means is that this is not a week to be overly um, uh, chasing stuff. Um, I'm sure, like in our lives, there's stuff that we want to, be ha want to have solved um, and want to, ha want to have fixed or maybe want to achieve, want to go like, oh, you know, um, what's my next move here? Well, your move this week is a non-move. You have the heron, which is an animal that hangs on one leg all day, and when the fish comes, it sort of takes it. <laughs> and so, so things will come to you without you having to make um, a lot or having to put in a lot of effort. So let things come to you this week. I think, based on the energy of um, the, the 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 guides here, um, maybe your hardest battle is to be non-active. Maybe it is hard for you to to not do anything and not feel lost. Um, what they're saying to you is, no, be, be with you, be in your calmness and watch how things will come to you when you let, stuff, when you let go of stuff that you, that you can't even control. Um, and uh, the other thing is, because you have the doll sheep, you will just be fine, but you also have to, have to listen this week to what's been said around you. It's really, really important. Um, there's loads of stuff that will come to you this week that you hear, um, and especially not necessarily always what people are saying, but how they say it. Really, really important uh, this, this week, especially for, for, for you, Leos, um, to um, feel the truth in other people's uh, um, words, right? So don't be lied to, um, don't let people get away, if that makes sense, with, um, well, with lying to you and, and make you feel uh, um, as if you were less than you truly are. But remember, don't fight it, just observe it, and then quietly uh, decide, okay, I let, I let it go, or I let you go, and then uh, don't make a, a, um, an argument out of it. Just tell them that you're no longer uh, willing to carry them with you in your life. Okie doke. That was Leo going into Virgo now. Virgo, not bad this week, not bad at all, because you have the spirit of initiation and the shaman of birth. So new spiritual teachings will find you this week. So pay attention to um, things you are uh, drawn to from the heart, um, because the spirit of initiation means that there, that there is new teachings on, on the way. This would be a perfect week to sign up for, uh, for um, a spiritual course. Um, take part in a, in a circle or, or, or whatever is going on in your neck of the woods. Um, this would be a perfect week because you have the shaman of birth. And it means um, as you follow what the universe is showing you, 
um, you will grow spiritually. And that's really all you can ask for in life, isn't it? So it's really, really important to just this week um, allow yourself to, to engage a little more in spiritual activity. Okay? So that was Virgo going into Libra. Libra. Interesting uh, combination of uh, cards. You have the dancer of fear and the ancestor of boundaries. So what they're saying to you this week, it's important to let go of fear. Um, don't worry so much about stuff. Just remember that things happen for a reason, and that there's a thing called divine timing, um, and that you can't rush through healing, and that you can't rush through stuff. If, if you're a person that... Um, is going through upheaval, it might take a while for this upheaval to truly leave you. And um, so don't be afraid of it. Um, so, but don't, um, don't give in to fear. The, if, you, if you worry about stuff, it means it, it, it doesn't change anything. Worry is not helpful at all. Um, all it does, it takes away energy that you could do with um, to, to make changes and to raise your vibration. So don't give in to fear at all this week. And you have the ancestor of boundaries, which means it's, it's long overdue that you looked at your life and the people in it and set clear boundaries. Really, really important this week to set clear boundaries. And clear boundaries, the setting of clear boundaries, always starts with reflecting um, where are you in this lifetime, at this point in time, and, and how did you actually get there? Right? Without overthinking, it's like saying, like, "Wow, this isn't this isn't nice. This is not what I want to do with my life anymore." And then um, uh, realize that you have the right to uh, to do with your life uh, as you please, and to um, be happy, and then follow that. Okay, that was Libra going into Scorpio. Scorpio this week, February, uh, February 12th, sorry, <laughs> February 12th to 18th. See, Germans can't pronounce the H, so 12th to 18th is quite a bit of, a, of an issue for me. <laughs> Everything with TH is an issue. When I lived with the Irish, it was much, was much easier. They would say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and here's 1, 2, 3, and I, and I always find it difficult to pronounce TH. <laughs> it's just how it, how it works. I read that um, years ago. That um, a Japanese scientist says when you're 12 years old, your vocal cords are set. So you will always have an accent, if that makes sense. And unfortunately, I can't change mine. And not, to be fair, I don't really want to. But it is interesting that I come across words that I find difficult to pronounce after all these years abroad. I've been living abroad now for almost 18 years um, and still have problems with pronouncing TH. <laughs> don't even know why this come up, comes up here now. But um, anyway, there you have it. So... For Scorpio this week, you have the river otter and the ringneck pheasant. The otter is the builder of bridges. So you need to be a person that has a lot of understanding for others this week. Um, don't make um, rush decisions. Don't, you know, overdo it. Um, but you also have the pheasant, which is a very, very intelligent bird, um, but very misunderstood, you know. It's one of the most shot birds uh, uh, in England. Uh, you know, all these pheasant shoots and stuff, you know, which is not only bad for, for the pheasant, but really bad for, uh, for energy. Uh, because you can't just take a sentient being and, and shoot it just because there is no law against it. Think about that. It's really, really important not to do damage. Anyway, this is not the topic. The topic is that, that, that the, the, the analogy here is that, that um, despite all your skills, despite the fact that you are um, willing to help and able to help and able to listen and, and um, are a good person to be around and people should be grateful for that. A lot of people don't really get you, but the message this week is to still extend a hand to those you feel don't quite get you and um, have a calm week, if that makes sense. So, so be be calm and um, let things happen and play out the way they should, uh, if that makes sense. 
Okie doke, Eposcopio going into Sagittarius now. Card falls out. Oh, and another one. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm not fast enough for the guides today. They're pushing cards on me. So it means Thomas talk less, just give the messages. Okay, I will. <laughs> Sagittarius, you have the grizzly bear and the lynx. And bears denote femininity. So for all you Sagittarius out there, it is really important to be um well to be your loving self, if that makes sense. Be be who you truly are. Um allow yourself to wear your heart on a sleeve this week. And remember the energy of the week being all about love and uh, companionship and all these kind of things. Um, this is a really good week to claim the love that you feel is long overdue, right? And you have the links, which means you're an animal. You're 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 an animal. You're, well, you're we're all animals. Um, you are. You have a spirit guide here that looks for a vantage point from which to look at things. So what they're saying to you is is to step back a little bit and reflect quietly. Um, without too much overthinking, without too much worry, just reflect on, on your life, but be in your softness. And remember, um, nobody messes with a bear, right? So you have a lot of strengths and, and people will see it. So you showing your heart, you wearing your heart on a sleeve, does not make you more vulnerable. Uh, as a matter of fact, you will surprise people by your um, honesty. If that makes sense, so so be that person this week that is not afraid um, to speak to speak your mind. All right, going into the final star sign for the day, which is uh, Capricorn. Let's see what they got for Capricorn. And because we're moving into the star sign of Pisces. Um, on Sunday, and we have the new moon on, on, on Thursday, there is this convergence of um, emotions um, coming up and emotional energy. So it is the time of year uh, to look at love and look at uh, you know how you, how you feel um, with regards to, to being loved or giving love. So Capricorns have the white tail deer and the timber wolf. And what that really means is you can be Steadfast this week, you will be um, you will be just fine. You have an animal here with antlers, which means protection, um, and and the white-tailed deer is one of those animals that is quite at home in their natural um, environment, um, and they can um, run like mad if they need to, and they can rest if they if they they know exactly what to do um, at different times of day. And um, this is another uh, a lesson. For Capricorns this week is to pace yourself right and if you feel like oh my god I'm stressed out then you are the person that is supposed to pull the brakes here you with me so uh, have a look at who stresses you out if it is if it comes from a different source but but pay attention you also have a wolf timber wolf which means you have to be in charge and in control of your life and that's the main message this week for for uh, uh, Capricorns um, to take the reins of your life again and, and, and say, hang on a second, where am I in all this? And speak your truth um, at all times, um, but speak it with love, which is natural this week, uh, if that makes sense. Also, it means if there is anything in your relationship um, or relationships uh, that you have work-wise with, uh, you know, being, being in a relationship with someone, all these kind of things, it's a very good week to seek um, communication and conversation, as long as it comes from the heart, where you express your concerns uh, from the from a point of love, it can be resolved. Okay, so that's all we have time for. Like I said, next next time we will be in the star sign of Pisces, and um, I rushed this a little bit. Uh, it's because I actually uh, filmed this week in another episode already, um, but. Um, went on for too long and then couldn't upload it because the, the file was too too large so i was deliberately trying to stay under 30 minutes kind of thing so sorry if i talk too fast um that's what i do um anyway thank you all for for, for watching again and i see you all very soon bye bye